Locked up at home and only allowed to leave for specific reasons. That's how the parents of the accused Seminole Heights serial killer could spend the next few months. That is, unless they finally speak up. ABC Action News reporter Marisol Burgos spent the morning in court and joins us with more on the house arrest for Hal Donaldson III's parents. Marisol. As you know, the Donaldsons were subpoenaed to answer questions about their son. Now a judge is punishing them for refusing to talk. Silent walking into court today for their hearing. We would not oppose, however, a sanction short of incarceration that would be perhaps analogous to house arrest. The parents of the suspected Seminole Heights killer have refused to talk about their son with prosecutors. Nobody that I know has answered in the positive. Would you testify against your child? Police say Howell Donaldson III killed four innocent people. From the beginning, we were just focused on getting information from uh, the parents because the community and the victim's family deserves it. This morning, the state argued they only want to ask his parents what their son was doing during the time of each murder and about his mental health, claiming their intention isn't to see them locked up for not cooperating. We offered to limit our questions only to information that we didn't want sprung on us at trial. Ralph Fernandez is speaking on behalf of both parents. From day one, they indicated they would not testify against their son. And as you can see, the risk was high and uh, their position did not change. The judge ultimately ruled in the state's favor, ordering them to house arrest up to five months and 29 days. They can only leave their home for medical and religious reasons or work purposes. The defendants may purge themselves of contempt at any time if they choose to do so by appearing before the state attorney and providing truthful testimony. Fernandez doesn't see that happening. The parents keeping their silence, leaving court. It wasn't like they were prepared to go to jail. They were almost going to jail and they didn't change their position and they didn't speak a word and they trusted us with, you know, with their future. The Donaldsons will be under GPS monitored house arrest. The judge will be checking in on them next week. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.